so hey everyone and welcome back to our channel today we are going to dive into a comparison between typescript and javascript so we are going to explore their key differences benefits and use cases if you are a beginner or you are someone who wants to learn web development can definitely watch this video so let's get started so guys typescript and javascript are closely related with TypeScript being a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing and other features to JavaScript. Here are some key differences and considerations which you must know. Number one, typing and safety. So TypeScript offers static typing which can catch type related errors at the compile time and provides better tooling support for code navigation and refactoring. This can be particularly beneficial for large code bases and collaborative development. JavaScript on the other hand is dynamically typed allowing for more flexibility but potentially leading to runtime errors that may be harder to catch during the development. Number two, ecosystem and community. So JavaScript has been the language of the web development for many years and has a vast ecosystem with numerous libraries and frameworks. This popularity ensures a large and active community, making it easier to find solutions to problems and resources for learning. TypeScript on the other hand has been gaining popularity steadily and many JavaScript libraries and frameworks now include TypeScript typings. The community of the TypeScript is also growing and it has become a popular choice for larger projects, but obviously JavaScript has a bigger community. Number three, development experience. So TypeScript often provides a better development experience due to features and auto completion, type checking and improved code navigation in modern IDs. On the other hand, JavaScript tooling has improved significantly throughout these years with the introduction of tools like Babel, ESLint and improved support in editors. Number four, compatibility. So TypeScript can be gradually adopted into an existing JavaScript project as TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. You can incrementally add types to your JavaScript codes to make it similar as same as to a TypeScript code. You can incrementally add types to your JavaScript code base. On the other hand, JavaScript code is fully compatible with TypeScript, but you won't immediately benefit from static typing unless you add TypeScript features. Number five, language features. So TypeScript introduces additional language features beyond static typing, such as interfaces, enums, and advanced type system compatibilities in TypeScript. These features enhance code reusability, readability, and expensiveness and maintenance. So in 2024, the landscape is evolved and in recent years, the community of TypeScript is also going. Although there is a big a debate between developers that JavaScript is good or TypeScript is good. But I would say as a beginner, you must go for JavaScript and gradually you can learn TypeScript. Then after that, depending on your project, if you have a very large project, you must always go for TypeScript because it provides type safety. So you would get less errors and your code would be really fast. And if I talk about JavaScript, if you have a very basic code and if you are a beginner, then you can go for JavaScript now. And now guys on my screen, you can see on the left side, I have the code for JavaScript and on the right side, you can see I have the code for TypeScript. So in the JavaScript, you can easily see that we basically have a function named as greet and inside this we are just providing parameters and it's returning a string and below that we have where result equals greet and inside that i've just provided a string that is world and it's printing that result that means it's gonna print hello world right so you can see this is a simple javascript code simple javascript function but if i had to write the same code in typescript so on the right side you can see that when i provide parameter to the function that is name parameter to the function you can see there i have written colon string so this is a typescript syntax where you provide the type safety you have provided string type and after those brackets, we have one more colon string. That means after greet, um, the name and string, after that we have one more string. It simply means that the return type of the function is also a string, right? You can see that the function is gonna return hello and world 
something like that okay so the return type is also a string return type is also a sentence or a word or a character it's a string so we have just mentioned type safety and this is a very basic example guys which actually tells us that the function would return a string and what function would take string as an input as a parameter right and after that also you can see we have written let result colon string this simply means that the type of value which result variable is gonna store is obviously a string because you can see greet world would simply return what it's gonna return a string so i've simply said that return would be string so result the result would also be a string so i mentioned let result string equals greet world okay that means we are gonna have a string stored inside the result variable so in all these cases you can see in the typescript part we have mentioned the type of those variable or the function or what the function is going to return or what kind of parameter the function is going to take this is the code example for typescript so on an average you would see in most cases the typescript code and the javascript code almost look similar because typescript is again similar you can say modified version of javascript so guys these type annotations in typescript are optional and typescript can infer types in many cases however adding explicit type annotations like colon string can provide better documentation and enable the typescript compiler to catch potential type related errors during development in javascript you don't have these type annotation and the language is dynamically typed meaning that the type of these variables are determined in the runtime Remember TypeScript is designed to be the superset of JavaScript so you can gradually introduce TypeScript features to your existing JavaScript code. So as per need you can actually add TypeScript to your JavaScript pro code whatever project you have created suppose you have created a project in react.js you can later on add TypeScript to the same react.js code okay. So if you have an existing JavaScript code set snippet you can gradually use it as in TypeScript without adding type annotation immediately. Right. So guys, these were some basic differences between TypeScript and JavaScript, a general difference between two, these two. Now, if you are a beginner, I would always recommend that you would go for JavaScript first. Then after that, I would say that if you are making big projects and there you need to make sure that means, for example, there is a variable named as result and it must always contain a string value it must never contain a number value or if i give you a better example suppose if you are taking a form okay if you are making a form and suppose in that you have a phone number field so phone number is always a type of number right it's always a sequence of numbers it's not a string so you can add type safety there right you can say that the type of value which phone number is gonna store is colon number that means always a number it would never store a string so it would always save us from potential errors in future right so for large projects typescript is a good tool to use for small projects for beginner level projects you can go for javascript so that's it for today guys i hope you understand the difference between typescript and javascript and in 2024 you can first of all go with javascript learn the complete javascript then you can start typescript and use typescript for the same projects and bigger projects so i hope you understood this video and i will see you in the next one if you have any topics in future if you want videos on that so you can mention that in the comment section i will see you in the next one till then so a good day bye bye